Now is not the time, ladies and gentlemen, to be giving up hope and faith in regards to Hadira Hashgraf HBAR. In fact, the exact opposite is true. And in this video, we hope to explore with you guys why that is the case. We are going to be looking at Hadira Hashgraf from a purely technical point of view in this video and showing you that right now, in my opinion, is the perfect time to be getting interested in Hadira Hashgraf. In fact, many of you will know that Hadira Hashgraf is my largest position in the cryptocurrency space. And that has everything to do with just how impressive this distributed ledger project truly is. We do have Brandon the HBAR ball coming on the show later on today for an interview and we'll release that later on this week to talk more fundamentally about the project and clear up some of the controversies that perhaps are surrounding Hadira Hashgraph at the moment. We know about the HBAR CEO or the HBAR Foundation CEO uh, stepping down we will be addressing some of that, also talking about the project more fundamentally, because it is one of the most, if not the most, impressive distributed ledgers that there are. And if cryptos are truly going to take over the world like we think they're going to, they need to be able to actually do that. And Hedera ticks a lot of boxes. So this is a project that we are unbelievably bullish on fundamentally. I feel like there's been a lot of uncertainty cast into the mix in regards to what's happened. Uh, some of the controversy that's happened, but hopefully we'll clear that up in the coming week. However, when you look at Hadira Hashgraph, purely objectively uh, on a uh, price technical analysis point of view, now is not the time to be giving up hope, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, now is the perfect time to be interested in this asset. And we're going to be showing you that in this video. We're going to be, of course, reintroducing our phase analysis, our market mastery uh, principles that we teach and ultimately applying them to Hadira Hashgraph. And it's always darkest before dawn, isn't it? And since we had the BlackRock news that um, a BlackRock money market fund was actually tokenized on Hedera Hashgraph, Hedera in many ways is a very obvious choice for the tokenization of the world. They have their tokenization suite, they've got stablecoin suites, they've got everything, uh, and it's very fit for purpose. And we see some of the largest institutions in the world already actively looking to use and utilize Hedera. It's one of the most used blockchains in regards to transactions per second put through. Uh, if you look at the use case of Avery Dennison uh, and some of the others out there, you know, they really are setting the standard in many, many ways. But this is, of course, what we saw take place, this sort of big wick over here with the BlackRock news. And then we had news, of course, um, later on down the line that um, an individual from the uh, HBAR Foundation that has now stepped down was uh, potentially selling into this. Since then, you have really had um, quite a sharp decline. But it is always darkest before dawn. We'll talk about what this decline looks like and the fact that it very much resembles a falling wedge. You have three impulses in there, which is very common. And ultimately, not only uh, are we expecting a breakout to the upside from this falling wedge, which we'll cover with you in this video once we've covered the kind of broader macro picture on Hedera, you also are at a perfect support level, your kind of uh, lows, if you will. Very much Hedera is just ranging. And really what we like to teach here on All In Crypto is something... Uh, that we cover in our market mastery course where we talk about how markets typically move in four stages you will see these four stages and we can show you many many examples playing out time and time again in the markets those of you uh, and many of you are of course familiar with the wall street cheat sheet which sees the markets move in a kind of wave like fashion we take that a step further and we really extend on some of the principles that are taught by uh, wyckoff in regards to his wyckoff market cycles most people are only familiar with the accumulation and distribution schematic but there's a kind of uh, phase two and phase four or an uptrend and a downtrend that come along with those or come after accumulation. You get that phase two uptrend uh, distribution, you get that phase four downtrend and it essentially rinses and repeats. The Wall Street cheat sheet is really just mapping out the emotions that are attached to that. And you are, uh, many of you probably living through, as I am, some of the emotions, um, you know, in this kind of disbelief phase that are happening with Hedera. I want to just add as well, some people think this is internal to Hedera, but if you look at things like Polkadot, Cardano, and many of the others, they look pretty much exactly the same. However, in the broader picture of things, before we dive down into the smaller time frames, you know, I just want to reiterate that this is very much still accumulation, very much phase one, basing in a very sort of uh, typical range-like fashion. You can see very quickly, this is very much the range that Hedera Hashgraph uh, is in, and you can see you're essentially um, bouncing around off uh, support into resistance, into support, into support, into resistance. You sort of deviated uh, above it on the BlackRock news, and there's been a lot of controversy uh, back currently at support. And I do believe you're going to find your feet here. 
continue to the upside uh, and it will ultimately lead to in our opinion a breakout of this resistance into a phase two uh, uptrend so this is just a phase one base in our assessment ultimately ready for that phase two uptrend and if you look at the markets more broadly and we cover this every single day on the channel here at all in crypto we are positioned for a good time for uh, markets generally whether that be the equity market whether that be the housing market um, whether that be um, you know the precious metal market gold very nearly at our 2600 target or whatever it may be you know the markets uh, are positioned for a good time and it's our opinion that crypto uh, is going to be the fastest performing horse within that race and certainly the altcoins eventually will be a far greater performer than the likes of um, bitcoin just to show you that there's a kind of normality to where altcoins are right now in relation to the bitcoin four-year cycle theory if we pull up for example the blx which is the brave new liquid coin index it's the longest chart that we have for uh, bitcoin and we add btc dom on here um, you will see let's pull up dominance that is very typical bitcoin is really the anomaly in this cycle due to institutional involvement but bitcoin dominance typically doesn't roll roughly around about um uh 215 plus days after the halving you can see this is the case here this is also the case over here and 215 days is going to sort of take you to the first of november remember we've got october ahead of us so we are still yet to really see altcoins come into their own uh, and start to flourish however I don't think we're too far away whatsoever. Certainly when you look at Bitcoin dominance, you can uh, somewhat derive that. But if we dive back over to the HBAR chart, you can see that actually it's not such a bad picture on the uh, weekly time frame. You know, this, in our opinion, is stage one accumulation, phase one accumulation, Wyckoff's accumulation. Ultimately, this is going to lead to uh, broader upside, in our opinion. You know, if, if you look at something like Toast, many of you are definitely not familiar with this company. You can see this is your kind of ranging. You kind of have a stab down to the bottom deviation just like you've had your deviations here then you make your way up this is likely going to break to the upside and see continuation just like we've seen many many others out there you know you can see this kind of range here over for spotify spotify is a stock that we've been looking at since it's sort of 120 dollar range it's currently 341 um you can see how things range how the sort of four phases of a market play out and if you look at where hedera today currently is it's very much in that phase one ready for that phase two uh, upside and i actually think hedera is going to be one of the uh, greater performing assets in this bull market unfortunately it's very much just given way to bitcoin's weakness and you've had a compounding effect of all the kind of uh, negativity um, that has surrounded it but if we zoom in on this pullback and we look at the kind of manner that it's set up actually you know we've got a lot of rather positive signs within this i ultimately think that what you're seeing here for hedera is a falling wedge so if we go ahead and wipe the face we've had a, a a great degree of accuracy in regards to calling these you can see you've very much been pinned below this resistance now whether you want to leave the wicks on or whether you want to trim the wicks is entirely up to you um, for the sake of this we will trim the wicks and we will look all the way back here and what you can see here is three impulses within this falling wedge now if you look at typical schematics or you look at prior prior sort of falling wedges that have played out one that we got uh, pretty damn right in the last bull market was of course cardano came all the way down to a dollar we we're expecting a breakout uh, to round about uh, or certainly to take this high and we did indeed get that and you can see what we're highlighting here in regards to the impulses one two three fundamentally what's happening with the falling wedge is you're getting a uh, constriction that's why you, you end up in this kind of narrowing pattern if you will you're getting a restriction of the volatility so you've had one impulse two impulse and you can see your third impulse and now you're very much bottoming you're putting in a concession of sort of uh, marginally lower or, or, or equally lower lows ultimately ready to break to the upside um, we ultimately believe this is a falling wedge that's likely going to re uh, result in a breakout so it is my opinion that you are going to see uh, a breakout from this falling wedge like structure not only that, you do have confluence in regards to you being at this sort of uh, accumulative range support. Uh, ultimately, it's not going to be long before you actually take this resistance level or certainly make your way back up to it. Once you take this, you are then in a phase two uptrend. Ladies and gentlemen, it's likely going to be um, a explosive one. We potentially have a pattern setting up 
that is going to set that up or certainly see you march towards entering that phase two uptrend. And then it's really uh, full steam ahead. We think Hedera is likely going to be one of the best performing assets within this bull market. Um, and ultimately, it's been a bumpy ride. Nobody can say anything uh, other than that. However, brighter days are ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. It's always darkest before dawn. Ultimately, when you look at the macro conditions, they very much support markets doing well. And the altcoin market is absolutely going to fly. When you look at altcoins and typically where they are in and around the halvings, Bitcoin cyclical cycles, they're very much where they should be. Uh, and ultimately, there's a, a really good performance uh, ahead of them. I think the um, certainly the others market cap is likely going to get to around about $2 trillion. That's everything outside the top 10. The total two likely marching towards sort of $4 trillion. There's a lot of room for growth, and I think Hedera is going to capture um, quite a bit of that. So now is absolutely not the time technically to be betting against Hedera Hashgraph. Do stay tuned, guys. We are going to be releasing that interview with Brandon, the HBAR bull, later on this week, really clearing up uh, a lot of the questions that I think you guys have and also looking at why this blockchain is, um, why this distributed ledger is as impressive as it is and kind of hopefully reinstalling a little bit of faith uh, in regards to um, the community. So... That is it from me, ladies and gentlemen. On that note, I am going to love and leave you. Remember, we're looking at a falling wedge pattern for Hedera Hashgraph as we speak. We ultimately think when you break out, when you take that sort of capping uh, descending grind line, you are going to make your way up to the uh, top band of the range that we've currently been in, the accumulative range. Once you take that, you're looking at that phase two uptrend and it's all systems go. Our best guess in regards to a price prediction is that we think Hedera could get to around about $2 this bull market. So that means uh, in our sort of time scale, uh, just before sort of 2026. So on that note, I'm going to love and leave you. Thanks a lot for watching, ladies and gents. And I'll see you all in the next one.